Okay, in the last video, I showed you how to create um, your magazine issues using either HTML or PDF file. In this video, I'm going to actually show you how to create um, subscriptions for your magazine. Okay, so every newsstand magazine on the App Store needs to have a uh, auto renewable subscription or a free subscription. So, auto renewable means um, a paid subscription, maybe like $5 a month or $2 a month or per year so those are renewable automatically by um, by Apple alright so if you submit your app without having a subscription it will get rejected so this video will show you how to create a subscription so you see at the top here we have a text that says subscribe weekly to my magazine and here and get access to all issues only $9.99 a month um, that is a text that shows up when the user is not currently subscribed right and then to change this text, you can easily go to the configuration.plist, right? And then you can see the text in here. Subscribe weekly to my magazine and get access to all issues. Only $9.99 a month. So you can change that. Let's say maybe your, your magazine costs $3.99. You can change that. You can change the whole text as you wish. So if I run that again, you're probably going to see the new value in there. So that's that. And then when they tap to subscribe, um, it's gonna go to Apple, and then um, and then allow them to sign up for your subscription. So now I'm gonna show you how to create that subscription. So let's go back to our JSON file, right? And if you remember here, um, I showed you this item in the JSON file, and this is your in-app purchase ID for the whole magazine. Um, and then the ID is a value that we give in here. So in this case, we have a paid subscription, which I call ADV Newsstand, the subscription that paid. Um, to create this, I'm just going to have to see. Um, you, you're going to have to create this in iTunes Connect. So now I'm going to log into iTunes Connect, and then you'll see how we'll create. All right, so here I, I am in iTunes Connect. So I'm going to go to Manage Your Apps. And I'm going to select my Lifestyle Magazine. And then I'm going to go to manage in-app purchases. So now it says here, no in-app purchases have been set up for this app. Set up one, please create new. So I'm going to go here and click on create new. And then I'm going to start with a paid subscription. And then we'll do the same thing for a free subscription later. So here for paid subscription, you will start with an auto-renewable subscription. So you can go here and click on select. And then I can give it a reference name. And then the reference name is just for you to and to remember what the subscription is gonna be. So I'm gonna call this my lifestyle magazine paid. And then I'm gonna click on add duration to add a price and duration. So I'm gonna say so from, from in my case I want so in my case I want um, my subscription to run monthly. So I'm gonna select a month. The product ID. Um, I'm gonna call this. So I'm gonna call this lifestyle mag that subscription that paid, and then I'm gonna leave this as no. You can you can offer a marketing opt-in incentive, right? If you just if you want to find out more about it, you can click here, and then they will explain to you how what that works. I'm gonna not offer a free trial, and then I'm gonna select that as a, the first tier. So that's probably gonna be about ninety nine cents, or let's just increase it a little bit. So if it's gonna be three ninety nine. A month a month for the magazine all right and then I'm gonna click on save here okay so we've done that um, here you have to remember this product ID right but then we're gonna use this later but then um, I'll show you how to use that but then the next step is to add a language um, this is what's gonna show up when people decide to buy your or subscribe to your magazine so you need to know what to um, implement here so let's just call this. So I'm gonna call it display name lifestyle magazine monthly. Let me copy it into the description. Okay, so now here I've just typed in the information that people are gonna see when they try to subscribe to the magazine. So here we have a description of a lifestyle magazine monthly subscri subscription, get access to issues every month, and the publication name is lifestyle magazine. So I'm gonna click on save. And then I'm gonna Okay, so that's done in there. So now I need to add a screenshot for re for review. So the best thing to add here is probably a screenshot 
where the user is about to sign up for the magazine. So a screenshot of this will actually be a good idea. So you can go to the simulator and then say save screenshot, right? Then I can choose my screenshot from the desktop that has been selected for me. And then this is where people that review this um, in-app purchase are gonna understand what my in-app purchase is gonna be about. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Okay, so it says um, we did need to add a URL to the company's privacy policy. Um, so for in my case, I I do have a privacy policy URL. So you will need to get one for your company as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click on save there. Okay, so that's saved and it says here ready to submit. Um, so now we're gonna go back in here and then copy this product ID. So this is very important. So now that's my subscription. I'm gonna I'm not gonna go back to my JSON file and paste that here. So now my um, in-app purchase ID is gonna be the same as the product ID of the iTunes of the in-app purchase in I, on iTunes Connect. This is very important. There should be no spaces in this case. That, that's a space. There should be no spaces, no commas. This should be exactly the same, or else your app will not work. All right, so I'm going to save that. So I'm going to upload that back to my server. Click replace. Okay, so that's done. So when I do go back to my app and I run this again in the simulator. All right, so I've run the magazine. Um, I've run the app in here. So when the user taps here, they should be able to subscribe to my magazine. But that, um, but that's not probably that's probably not going to happen because now it's going to crash. So there is something that we do need to set. Right, because here it says, if you see on at the bottom here, it says we have a invalid product identifier. So our in our purchase ID is set up here, but then there's one more thing which we do need to uh, which we do need to do, and it's going to be in the checklist. Um, and I'll show you that in the next video, and then we can start um, subscribing to the magazine. So watch out for the next video. Thank you.